Goodbye, Lara. I love you. Goodbye. Don't be mad. I'm alien in her natural habitat. <laughs> love you. This video is about saying goodbye to my child home. It's gonna be an emotional video because this is the house I grew up in and it's the house where my parents have lived for the last 44 years. But we're opening a new chapter in a new house here in Copenhagen. So I wanna take you guys along on this ride where we move out of the house and move into the new house. Knowing how much I'm saving the climate, the day can't really get any better. You're welcome, Greta. It's Bia, yeah, that's my hometown. My mom will hug me in three hours and 14 minutes. Also my dad, I miss him. Hi, Jim. Hi, Mo. Hi. Hi. What a cute little boy. My parents are quite stressed and they only have one big truck to come in three days to pick up everything in this house. And I told them it is not enough. There is so much shit in this house and everything has to go. I don't know what we're gonna do. Men så kan jeg jo ikke se trappen, og så bliver jeg simpelthen svimmel. Så det er svimmel? Jeg mister balancen. Nej, ikke simpelthen. Jeg mister balancen. Jeg har nu kæft en gang. Jo, så er det. Er du ked af at flytte ud af huset? Lidt. Lidt? Ja. Men nu kommer du til at bo på stranden? Ja, men jeg glæder mig til at komme, komme tilbage til tæt på familie. Til rødderne? Og til rødderne. But this house? Why is it special? It's just a house? It's a house with soul. We have here a family portrait. I hope my inheritance will be bigger than my siblings because I'm the only one coming home to help them move their entire house. 44 years of just shit piled up. So I have a game now. Cool. To a new chapter, mommy. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be hard to say goodbye to your house. Your little yeah. baby, your real, your, your favorite baby. It's my big baby. It's not only us. Uh, we're moving. Are you moving, Julia? Yeah. Really? Right. That's the way we can be together. Mm -hmm. I miss her. It's a heavy part, but a necessary part. So guys, here's a little tour of my hometown. It's beautiful. This is my old school. I was a straight D student directly to the principal's office. The sun never shines here, yet someone put solar panels on their house. This is my old high school. I was a straight A student, almost didn't graduate. I've ordered around 700 pizzas from here. It's quite interesting when I look back at my childhood. I remember the weather to be, you know, quite sunny and nice. I mean, not Madeira, perfect, but not anything like what we've had as an adult, every time I am back home, it is rainy, it is gray, cloudy, dark. There's no global warming here in Espia, that's for sure. How dare you! Flowers are growing inside. <laughs> in Espia, you also find the most expensive pizza in the world. It's 1100 euros. Hi. Har du stadig verdens største pizza? Ja, det er vi så vi lavede, ja. Har du solgt den nogensinde? Nej. Nej. So you can see you have two sizes. You have Michael and Arnold. <laughs> jeg bestiller Arnold. Ja, 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 Arnold. Ja, det er det. I hele verden der er det en af mine yndlingspizzaer, dem her. <laughs> det mener jeg, det mener jeg. Det var godt at se dig igen. Det var så tak. God jul. God jul. Og godt nytår. I'm actually not exaggerating when I say this is one of the best pizzas in the world that I have tried. Yeah. Mm. Arnold. 
It's day three of moving and I can't wait for the truck to get here. My parents, they are so stressed out. Everything has to be in boxes. Not even these can be filled into the truck by itself, which is so ridiculous. Maybe I should drink some of this wine to cope. Pizza number 701. Two or three. So I think that's not more. Last night in your house. Yes. What are you gonna miss the most? The feeling of being in this old house where my family was founded and, 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 and lived. So tomorrow we're driving to Helsinger and we are going to, uh, me and Amelie, we're going to see, I'm meeting Amelie there and we're going to see the house for the first time. And it's not as beautiful as this house, but it has its own beach. And that alone makes it an upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we're gonna fit it all in the truck? Uh, to be honest, no, I do not. <laughs> it is nine o'clock and this is the truck. Will it fit? I, I think so. God have mercy. We definitely can't fit the uh, garden uh, stuff, but I think we can have most, but let's see. It's the sun. I am seeing the sun for the first time since we got to Denmark seven days ago. But you know, this whole thing here has been so stressful that I have hardly been able to talk about this, saying goodbye to my home where I grew up, a lot of parties. Somehow my parents allowed 15 Danish buffoons to drink their minds out in a glass house. I remember here when I played ice hockey, I was uh, trying to convince my parents to turn this into a hockey rink because one of my friends, he was a carpenter, he could do it. They didn't like that idea. This is a special home and I'm going to miss it. God, it's cold. <laughs> Just as the sun came out, it's literally hailing. Thunder too. Jesus. It's not gonna fit. Holy shit. Yeah, I can't do it. Come on. The hele, the hele come on for Nens the Bone. The truck is full and on its way to Copenhagen. And uh, we have the minivan. But um, yeah, there's still a lot of things missing. The entire garden, um, second garage. It is go time. Last time I'll see this house. Hi, Jin. We're gonna go to your new house. We're ready to go, guys. Hi. Bye. Here comes Bye. the sun. See you. Never. Here home. comes the sun, and I say it's all right. Little darling, it's been a long, cold, lonely winter. A little darling, it feels like years since it's been here. Here comes the sun. Love you for Jolun. Sweden! Over there. It's right. Mommy and Daddy's new house. I am so excited to see this house. Oh, how did you want? Hi, how did fit? My girls just arrived. Hi. Hi, Lara. It seems like years since it's been here. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun, and I say it's all right. 
Take your. You are such a wifey. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. How did? How was your first night? Very, very good. Hold kæft, man. Det er lige noget for skibsang, så jeg står det her. Du kan vel lige app med skib, så du kan få at vide lige præcis, hvad det er. Since the house is not ready to really show, yeah. it's gonna be 10 things that are absolutely incredible. And we're gonna start at the beach. Oh, there's sand for Lada. <laughs> Lada, look at this. Number one highlight. They have their own beach. It's actually private, this beach here. Yeah. So they're going to put up a picket fence on no, each... No, not. <laughs> Private property, you cannot stay here. You can, however, walk through. And this beach goes for many kilometers. Like, I like, like you can run a marathon here if you want. <laughs> this is literally Lara stream. Another highlight is down there you can see Kronborg. Which is one of the most beautiful castles in Denmark. What do you think is the number one highlight of your new house? This. And the fact it's our beach. Tea house. Epic highlight. Summer. You sit here, you have a little table inside, you can have your picnic, you can have your lunch, you can have your dinner. Are you gonna upgrade this or just maintain it? It's cute though. For the time being, I have one task to empty all the boxes. Your wife, she will upgrade everything here. When When we are here to celebrate Christmas next year, this will look completely different. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when the so big, it's like it can hold 70 liters of water. Nice. And when the sun is up, it's like warm water. Nice. Huge garden. This is actually 400 square meters bigger than my parents' old house. There is an extra house to this house, and it's just as big. It's this one. But I know my mom, she will come running at the door every five minutes. This is gonna be a kitchen slash laundry area. And when we're here, it's gonna be where we cook, because there will be a kitchen here. And then there's a bathroom in the back, super old school. This used to be a stable for the horses. The bathroom, I think this is the only bathroom they will not change, because it's only for the guest house. But there's no pressure, I used it. <laughs> used it yeah. yeah but there's heating in the floor this will be the studio apartment i think it's unclear but we will have a bed we will have a couch and two chairs but imagine once this is done you have the view here to the i mean it's it really is incredible and then on a summer day that one day a year yeah you know okay let's go upstairs it's kind of a safety hazard if you have children here because there's no fence But I'm 170 centimeters tall. My height is literally perfect. We slept here tonight. Once the trees blooms, it'll be completely green when uh, you look at it. It's so beautiful. And there's a lot of berries. It's literally wild berries growing down here. Even though we're still in our house, this is also an isolated highlight. Because this is the drying system. I think this is so fucking cool. Oh. It is. It I mean, sure is. This, this must be like a dream for you. It's right next to the laundry facility. Tiny office with a forest view. This huge bedroom, which has the most incredible view ever. And of course, my mom, she will get this swapped with one big glass window. Because you don't really care about opening this window because they have a whole balcony out here. Next highlight. So you literally can just sit here when all the greenery is bloomed has bloomed, you just sit here, you enjoy your own piece of land and think to yourself, I freaking made it. Here's a little bonus peek to the bathroom. This is going to be completely renovated, so everything you see here, imagine it's gone and imagine something wonderfully pretty. It's, it's going to be amazing. And of course an epic sea view from the living room, but you've already seen it, right? Pavilion. So look at my new house. So long, little house. Here comes the the sun, new beach house. Congratulations with the new house. Right. And thank you very much for your effortless job. Effortless? It wasn't effortless. <laughs> it's time to celebrate Christmas. Mm -hmm.